Now, getting tips and donations on your website is a great way for people to support creators. In fact, I use Buy Me a Coffee and I made a video about it right up here. But once you create the account, how do you add it to a WordPress website? Well, I'm Mike with Raj Singh Train. Today, I want to show you four different ways to add the Buy Me a Coffee button to WordPress. Now, before we get started, if you can hit the like button, that helps the channel out. And for more videos about WordPress, you can hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can always hit me up on social media, on Twitter and Facebook, or use the contact form on RyerSanctuary.com's website. Okay, so here are four ways that you can add Buy Me a Coffee to WordPress. Now, the first way to add Buy Me a Coffee is to use the WordPress plugin. To do that, we go to Plugins, go to Add New, and we're going to search for Buy Me a Coffee. Now we hit the install now and then activate. Now this will bring us to the settings page of Buy Me Coffee automatically and all you have to do is put in your username. So I use Rider Sanctuary and then hit save. Then you get a message that your account is linked and you can scroll down and you can activate the widget which is the little sidebar or the side dilly. I'll show you here in a minute. So I'll go ahead and turn that on and we're going to customize it. And we can give it all kinds of different text. We can change its colors. I'm going to go with green. And we're going to change this. Support me on Buy Me Coffee. How about uh, any? Oops. Oh, any support is greatly appreciated. That sounds good to me. And the widget message. Um, you can now buy me a coffee. I don't know. That sounds a little aggressive. So thank you for visiting. Feel free to buy me a coffee if you'd like. Then you can change the alignment and the sign and the uh, spacing. I am going to set this to the left only because I normally put my um, one signal push notifications on the right. And I'm going to make this uh, a spacing of five. That way it's closer to the left. Then we just hit save changes. Then we can go down and we can customize the button as well. So with the button, we're going to go with a, a green theme, I guess. We can change the text. We're going to leave it at buy me a copy. We can change the fonts, but you only get uh, Lato and Arial. I um, I like the one that it has on it, so it looks good to me. So we just hit save changes again. And now the settings are set, but we also have to add the button to our website to begin with. So for that, we go to appearance, go to widgets, and then we're going to look for the buy me a coffee button and drag it over to our sidebar. We'll put it right below the search. I'm not going to worry about giving it a title. If you give it a title, it'll show a title on the sidebar. So I want to do this just to show you what it looks like. So um, we'll just say tips. We're going to keep it on center because that's how I like stuff to go. So we'll hit save. And now when we look at the site, we can scroll down to see that on the sidebar we have tips and there's the buy me a copy button. So when they click that, it goes directly to my website. And if you notice on the bottom left, you have the widget here. That's actually, they call it a widget. And if you click on to expand it, then you can see that it has all my text and everything ready to go. So if anybody decides they want to buy me five coffees, they can put in their Twitter. If they say something special, and then they can uh, hit the support button. Or they can just go ahead and close it. Now five pixels looks a little close, so I might change that to 10 and bring this down to 10 so that would even because I'm anal like that. But you can pretty much set it wherever you want. So the second way that we can add Buy Me a Coffee to the website is by using Shortcodes Ultimate. Now Shortcodes Ultimate is a plugin that adds a plethora of different things you can do to our website. And in this particular case, we're going to use its button feature. So we go down to Plugins, go to Add New, or search for Shortcodes Ultimate, Install, and then Activate. Now when Shortcodes Ultimate is installed, you're able to put the shortcode pretty much anywhere on WordPress where you can add a shortcode. And that can be post, pages, or the sidebar. In this case, I'm going to add it to a post. So if we go to post, go to add new. And as you can see, I'm still using the classic editor. You can also use the Gutenberg editor. But for now, we're just going to insert the shortcode. So we're going to pick our button. You can see that there's a lot of different things you can do. But for now, we're going to do button. And the link is going to be the link to my web, my uh, Buy Me a Coffee page. So I'm going to grab this real quick, go copy, oops, and then paste. We're going to go down, we're going to target, we're going to open up in a new tab. Um, we're going to keep the style default. 
Uh, you have like all kinds of different things. You can make flat, go, soft, glass effect. In fact, let's go ahead and choose a glass effect on this one. The background, I'm going to change the color of it. We're going to use, uh, we'd like dark green. There we go. And we're going to keep the color as white. So we're going to go down. We're going to leave the size at the moment because you can adjust the size of the button if you'd like. Uh, we're not going to do, worry about fluid centered. Mm, no, I'm not going to, well, yeah, let's go ahead and center it. Uh, radius, radius, you can make them round, square. You can change the pixel size by 5, 10, or 20. The icon, you can go through the media manager and pick an icon if you want, or you can pick an icon from the picker. And buy me a coffee or a uh, short codes ultimate adds a ton of different icons you're going to add. So for this one, let's see if we can find a dollar sign. Oh, look at that. Boom. And we have a dollar sign. And the icon color is going to be white. We're going to keep it all uniform. Now, if we wanted to add a text shadow, we could. Uh, the description and download, really don't need to worry about that for this kind of a button on click. If you know any JavaScript to behave on a click, you can put that in here, in right here. But I'm not going to worry about that part at the moment. Uh, the attributes, um, you could do a no follow. That helps uh, in some cases where you don't want search engines to follow the links that you're creating, especially with affiliates, because you'll get dinged if your website doesn't match what you're linking out to. So if you want, you can put in no follow. Oh, how about no follow? You need to type in the box. And we're gonna scroll down, see title attribute, and I'm gonna worry about the title, the button ID. You don't need to worry about that because these are all gonna be generated by themselves. So you hit content. We're gonna go buy me a coffee, please. Insert short code. Boom. And there's the short code right there. So that technically you can copy and paste pretty much anywhere you want. And we're leaving it in a post. And I'm going to go ahead and title this as testing buy me a coffee. Oop, buy me a coffee. We're going to publish it because this is my personal website and I can just delete it if I want. This is the one that I installed WordPress on my own computers for testing grounds. And I can, this is no biggie. So we're going to take a look at what that looks like. So as you can see on the post, we have a glass button here. Buy me a coffee, please. And you can tell it kind of changes color when you hover over it. But you can click that and it'll take you to the website. So you don't have to use your short codes ultimate to create a button. I just like using it mostly because short codes ultimate comes with a bunch of different tools that I wind up using. Like I like making the tabs out of it. And there's a just a ton of different things you can do. So it's a good good plugin to have. But what if I wanted it that what if I wanted my buy me a coffee button in the sidebar? So what I'd do is I'd copy this, go to appearance and widgets, drag a text widget over. We're going to put it right below this one here. And we're going to paste the widget there. There are our short code. So now we hit save. And now we have to reload it. Bam. Now it's over here on the right sidebar. And depending on your theme, you can put it in all kinds of different places. Like this theme in particular has the sidebar widget, the front page content, the footer. So if I wanted to add it to the footer, I could. I just drag and drop it over there. And we'll reload. And now when we scroll down to the very bottom, you can see that the button's in the footer. So there's all kinds of different things you can do with your own buttons and widgets. Okay, but what if you like to play around in Photoshop and create your own button? I did. So with that, I uploaded the image already to my website. And so like if we go back to our post, go into the testing. And now we're going to add media. Right, add the button. And then when you scroll down, you can see that the link to, you can change that to a custom URL. We paste in our buy me a coffee page. Copy that. Paste that into here. And then hit insert into post. And now I have a button here that I designed myself. It looks kind of like a button. I used to do a ton of these back in like the early 2000s when uh, buttons were a thing. And then all of a sudden they're like, don't create these anymore. But now that mobile technology is out, everybody's like, oh, yeah, let's go ahead and create them because people can tap them. So, so if we hit update and we go back to our page and reload it, I can see that I have a buy me a coffee button here too. All I have to do is hit uh, click it and it'll open up my website. So with Using your own images as the third way to buy me a uh, coffee is uh, 
You can create banners if you would like, like you probably see banners on websites for advertising or whatnot. Um, I have a couple of banners on WhatIWasSanctuary.com that aim toward my YouTube channel. So you can make banners out of pretty much anything. You can make buttons out of pretty much anything. Um, it's a simple link. That's all it is. So you can be a little bit of creative in Photoshop if you'd like. And the fourth way to add Buy Me A Coffee to your website is by using Buy Me A Coffee itself. So if you go back to your Buy Me A Coffee profile and you go to Dashboard, and in your dashboard, if you scroll all the way down to the very bottom, you can choose to create a button or create a widget, and it'll give you the code for it. You can also use the iOS app as well. I don't have an Apple product, so I don't care. But to generate the button, it's pretty much the same way as it is in Photoshop or WordPress, is that you create your button, you can customize the text, the different colors, and then when you're done, so let's make a black one. We're going to say, cheers. And we're going to say copy HTML code or copy the image code. Now for websites, we're going to copy HTML. Then we're going to go back to our post. And underneath this one, now with WordPress, we have to use the text because we're pasting in code. Now with uh, in Gutenberg, you'll have to switch to the text editor, or the code editor. Then you paste in the code. That's the whole code for the button. So we hit update. And then when we go back to our website, reload it now we have a new button here it says cheers and we can also do the same thing if we decide to go with the widget if we go generate widget it does the same thing as the other um as the plugin on wordpress we just uh, customize what we want we're going to say i want it to be 10 by 10 on the now let's do this one on the right so we can see the difference we're going to do it as green and then we're going to copy the widget code. Now it says to copy the code between the header tags in your website. Now we're going to go into WordPress. Now we have to put this in between the header tags of our website. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to Appearance, go to Theme Editor, and I would suggest that you edit a child theme instead of the actual theme of your website. And child themes are themes that you can customize all you want, but when there's an update out for the parent theme, your child theme doesn't get overwritten and that's where it gets a little bit confusing because the parent theme any edits you make in the stylish in this uh, theme editor here will get erased if the theme gets updated a child theme won't it just pulls all the important information out of the parent and then still creates the layout that you like so I will do a tutorial on creating a child theme in the near future but for the sake of argument what we're going to do is we're going to edit our theme so we're going to go down to theme header and then we're going to find the ending of the head, which is right here. Oh, look at that. People are bugging me. And then we're going to paste in the code and then hit update file. So now our theme is updated. So if we go back to it and take a look, you see that the uh, button that we just, the widget that we just created is right here. If they click on it, how come it's not purple? I told it to be purple. Okay, so I'm not 100% sure why it didn't change the color to purple. Um, it worked before, so that's a little weird. Well, at least it works. Okay, so you can see all the methods work except for that last one with that widget. I don't know why it won't change the color. It used to. Um, might be something on Buy Me Coffee side or maybe something with my theme. I'm not really sure. I'll have to dive into it and figure it out. But the button itself did work just fine, and you can get the widget up. I, if you're going to do that, you might as well just use the uh, WordPress plugin because it works great. And as you saw, it works flawlessly. So the plugin is probably the easiest way to do it unless you want to have some fun and be creative. Then you can use short code to ultimate or create your own images. And there is kind of a fifth way, I guess, if you wanted to create a link, just a hyperlink. You can link it just like any other website or any link that's in your um, post. And those, I guess, could work, but most people are going to click on images. In fact, this is essentially all I did with a button that I made in Photoshop. I just linked the image. So which do you think is the easiest? For me, probably I'd say the plugin or I don't know because I have fun with Photoshop and I like creating my own buttons anyway. So it's really hard to say which one's the easiest for me because they're all pretty easy. I've been doing this for a long time, so I can whip out a button in no time at all in Photoshop. You get a little more creative with it. I think I like being more creative than anything. So definitely the Photoshop button part, I think is my favorite. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button. If you want to see more videos about WordPress, freelance writing, text broker, or anything else like cover, hit the subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the notification bell. I think it's going to do it for me today. I'll see you next time.